Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, Tropical Fish Keepers. Welcome to Aqua Alex Live. And welcome to another species profile here on Aqua Alex Live. I'm your host, South American Fish Keeper, Monster Fish Keeper, and Catfish Enthusiast, Aqua Alex Cardinelli. Today's species profile focuses on a unique, unorthodox catfish that comes to us from South America. Now, today's catfish is actually the cousin to another popular shovelnose catfish that lives in South America. Today, I am going to be talking about the cousin of the tiger shovelnose the Lima Shovelnose Catfish. One of the best things about the Lima Shovelnose is that it stays much smaller than the Tiger Shovelnose. As us all monster fish hobbyists know, Tiger Shovelnose Catfish can reach up to three feet in length. If you're wanting a Shovelnose for your aquarium, well, I've got good news for you. The Lima Shovelnose will only reach 15 to 20 inches in length, making it suitable for 90 gallons and those six-foot aquariums that we see at our local fish stores. Lima Shovelnose are one of my personal favorite South American catfish, and I cannot wait to talk about them here on my YouTube channel today. So today I'm going to give you some interesting facts on the Lima Shovenos. I'll talk about why I personally like the Lima Shovenos, and then I'll talk about keeping and caring for the Lima Shovenos in the home aquarium, and I'll show images and videos of the Lima Shovenos as well. All that and more. And in a few seconds here, I'm going to start the video with a crappy, but a video nonetheless, of my personal Lima Shovenos. So as always, for all my species profiles, should you, any of my viewers, have questions on the Lima Shovenos, please post them in the comments, and I will answer your questions on the Lima Shovenos catfish. Also, fish keepers, feel free to share your experiences with the Lima Shovelnose catfish in the comments. So don't be afraid to ask any questions on the Lima Shovelnose catfish. And don't be afraid to share your experiences in keeping the Lima Shovelnose catfish in the comments. Having said that, let's get this show on the road and let's start this species profile the same way that I start all my species profiles.
so you're going to barely be able to see my Lima shovel nose because he likes to hang out where there's no light on the tank and it's cloudy. But this is my Lima shovel nose. He has put on a couple of inches since I've gotten him. Very cool catfish. This is my Lima shovel nose. I wish the water looked a little bit better or at least I could get a better shot of him. But this is my Lima shovel nose and this is to prove that I have a Lima shovel nose. One of my favorite catfish of all time but definitely when my tank clears up we'll get some better footage of him here on my youtube channel but he's tilapia and market shrimp so enjoy this species care guide on the lima shovenos they like to hang over rocks and driftwood and things of that nature this video is current as of today which is June the 2nd. He's the one fish my camera won't focus on. I can get the Severums, the Red Devil, and all the other fish, but not him. So I apologize for the poor quality video, but that is a video of my current Lima Shovenos, and that is to prove that I am currently keeping Lima Shovenos, and I'll have better videos here on my YouTube channel of my Lima Shovenos. So now let's learn some interesting facts on the Lima Shovenos. Did you know Lima shovel nose catfish stand like a hockey puck as juveniles. It's one of the reasons why they're known as duckbill catfish, hockey stick catfish, and even shovel nose catfish. It's because they'll stand like this, and when they're standing like that, in that position, their mouth looks like a shovel, and that is why they're known as the as the shovel nose catfish it's a very unique it's a very interesting position and it looks pretty cool in the aquarium i gotta say it's pretty cool to see almost like a headstander catfish in the home aquarium really cool now did you know lima shovel nose catfish stay much smaller than the tiger shovel nose catfish and we're going to talk a lot about this today because i really want to drive home the fact that the lima shovel nose will stay significantly smaller than the tiger shovel nose most tiger shovel nose will reach 24 26 28 32 even 40 inches sometimes so a tiger shovel nose will easily surpass two feet and get into the three three and a half feet range. And that is a really huge catfish. That is a catfish that is too large for most aquariums. However, the Lima shovel nose, while it grows pretty big, it can get up to 20 inches itself. That is more manageable than a tiger shovel nose catfish. In my personal experience, in my personal opinion, most Lima Shovenos will max out at around 12 to 15 inches. It is the Lima Shovenos that are kept in pristine conditions in large aquariums that may, possibly may exceed 18 inches. So knowing that factor, I think it's safe to say a lot of people can safely keep a lima shovel nose as long as they have a proper sized aquarium now the next fact i'm going to give you on the lima shovel nose 
is kind of sad considering the Lima Chabonos is one of my favorite species from South America. Did you know Lima Chabonos catfish are sadly used as bait in South America? These catfish thrive in S South America. You will find Lima Chabonos in the thousands in Peru, Brazil, and Venezuela. So this means when they are caught on fishermen's lines, oftentimes they will be used to catch larger prey. So things like Amara wolfish, um, pariah, anything that grows large and is like a game type fish, Lima Chabonos will be used as bait. But there's also a positive to Lima Chabonos being in abundance in their natural habitat in South America. And that is that many of them import into the aquarium hobby. So they'll go to our distributors like Seagrest Farms and all the other uh, distributors in North America. And all the Lima Chabonos that enter the aquarium hobby are coming in wild caught overseas from South America, and a lot of them are hardy. But you should still always quarantine Lima Chabonos because all of them are wild caught. So that's why when you go to a fish store and they import wild caught South American fish, and you may see some skinny, almost malnourished. Uh, Lima Chabonos, it's because they're wild caught and they've been fasted to remove parasites. So as soon as you get them, you should really start fattening, fattening them up and getting them a good diet so they can put on some size and grow to a healthy and uh, stunning fish. But all in all, very popular fish in South America. It is used as bait. I don't know if it's a food fish per se, probably the larger specimens down there, but I know that they're used for bait and the aquarium hobby in South America. Now, did you know there are actually three different species of Lima Chabonos catfish? They all belong to the Sorabim family, but there are different species of Limas. You've got the Sorabim Lima, and you've got the Sorabim elongatus. And there's a couple of others that I am forgetting. But there is just not one Lima Chabonos. There are actually multiple different species of Lima Chabonos catfish out there. Pretty much all of them stay the same size range. Um, most will grow anywhere from 14 to 22 inches in length. My personal favorite is the Elongatus Lima Chabonos. So pretty cool catfish in my book. So right now I want to talk about what I personally like and admire about the Lima Chabonos catfish. First and foremost, its appearance. I love that head standing position that Lima Chabonos do, almost like a head standing catfish. I also love the size that they get. Not a huge monster, but a monster nonetheless, and a monster that can be properly kept in most aquariums. I like that they'll eat practically anything in the experiences that I've had keeping Lima Chauvinos. I was able to get them to eat brine shrimp, blood worms, market shrimp, tilapia, krill, Hakari carnivore pellets, earthworms, so Lima Chabonos, just like most other South American catfish, are not finicky eaters at all, but they do take time to adjust to new aquariums, which we will talk about on today's episode. I like the Lima Chabonos price tag. They're somewhat cheaper than the Tiger Chabonos, uh, probably because they're more common. And they're not going to grow huge, so more people are in line to buy them. The reason why tiger chauvinos and red tails can be kind of expensive is because fish stores know 
that they're going to get massive and the likelihood that they're going to return to the store at a big size is high. So they put the price up knowing that that fish is coming back. That's why those fish are so expensive. Like a juvenile one inch tiger shovel nose will go for about 25 bucks. While a juvenile two or three inch lima in my area will go for about $15. And that may vary on area from area, but generally speaking, lima shovel are much cheaper. And that has to do with availability. It has to do with the size that they get and that they're readily available. Now, I will say this though, tiger shovel are still more common. Tiger shovel are actually farm raised now and they're raised in such large quantities that there are an abundance of juvenile tiger shovel available to every pet store and every fish store out there. To my knowledge, and I could be wrong because I did not research this before the show, but to my knowledge, most lima shovel are still wild caught that enter the aquarium hobby. So I would say a good 75% of the lima shovel that are coming into the aquarium hobby are wild caught. However, there are some farm raised ones in Asia. But personally speaking, I think I, I like the wild caught versions much better. All right. Now let's get right into the care guide and let's learn about this species. So its scientific name is Sorabim lima. The common names for the lima shovenos can include a number of names and those names include duckbill catfish, hockey puck catfish, shovelnose catfish, head standing catfish, and lima catfish. But the names you'll most likely see at your pet store are duckbill catfish, hockey puck catfish, hockey catfish, shovelnose catfish, or simply lima catfish. But the shovelnose catfish seems to be the most common name that you'll see for the lima shovelnose. The family. Lima shovenos are in the Pimladi family or Pimelota family. Now, the Pimelota family is home to thousands of catfish family. So, the Lima shovenos is in the same family as other shoveno species like the Tigrinus, the Gerents, and the Tiger shovenos. It's also in the same family as Vulture cats. Pictus and red tail catfish. The genius. Lima shovelnose are under the Sorabim genius. Pretty cool catfish. The natural habitat for the Lima shovelnose. You will find Lima shovelnose all over South America, but you'll generally find them in Venezuela, Ecuador, Colombia. They're ever so present in Peru. You'll find thousands of lima shovelnose in Peru. There are some in Brazil, Orinoco, and many more areas of South America. Now, juveniles often form aggregations around thickets of grasses and reeds, or they hide among submerged woody structures such as driftwood so they're like that in the aquarium hobby as well they like to hide in fake plastic plants driftwood or caves so make sure that we are providing that in the home aquarium because that's what they like to hide in so that's their natural habitat full grown size for a lima shovel nose now a lima shovel nose still gets to a moderate size not as large as a tiger shovel nose, but a lima shovel nose, I would say, could grow 16 to 24 inches in length. So that's still a pretty big catfish for most aquarium hobbyists. But when we look at the tiger shovel nose, this one is significantly smaller than the tiger shovel nose catfish. 
So now that we know that the lima shovenos will only grow 16 to 24 inches, let's learn about the proper sized aquarium we should be keeping our lima shovenos in. So the recommended aquarium size that I'm going to say is 90 gallons and up. So I would say 90 to 150 gallon aquariums and larger. Remember, this fish is going to be over a foot long, up to two foot. So we're talking maybe 16, 18, 24 inches. That is still a pretty big catfish. So it's perfect for that six foot 125, that six foot 150, 180, 210, 220, et cetera. If you have a six foot aquarium and you're looking for a shovel nose cat from South America that is hardy, that is easy to keep, that is pretty cool looking, then guess what? The Lima shovel nose catfish is right up your alley. You will not find a more oddball type catfish, a more unique catfish than the Lima Shovenos. So aquarium care for the Lima Shovenos. Just like other South American catfish, the Lima Shovenos is really hardy and really easy to keep. It can pretty much adjust and adapt to any water parameters. My advice, though, is to keep your water parameters as close to natural as possible. So since the Lima Shovenos comes from South America, they're going to want a neutral pH. So keep your Lima Shovenos in a pH range of 6.8 to 7.4, and your Lima Shovenos will thrive in that pH. Temperature can be anywhere from 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They're really not picky on uh, the temperature. Make sure you've got crystal clear water parameters. Your water doesn't have to be clear, but just make sure your water parameters are where they need to be. Ammonia as low as you can get. Even zero is perfect for the Lima Shovenos. Make sure you have driftwood caves and plastic plants for your lima shovenos to hang out in make sure your lima shovenos feel secure make sure they have places to hide lima shovenos will easily stress themselves out if they don't have a place where they can go hang upside down or go hang out and relax in if they feel stressed so my advice is to put a driftwood in the tank and hang it up and that way the lima shovenos can hang and you cite it, which is pretty cool in my personal opinion. Now, you could do a bare bottom tank or you could do gravel or sand. The Lima Shovenos isn't really going to be picky about whether you're bare bottom or you have gravel or sand. And yes, I know someone's going to ask, can I have more than one Lima Shovenos together? Yes, you can. They are actually a schooling type of Shovenos. And unlike the tiger shovenos, because the tiger shovenos get so huge, you can have more than one of them as long as you've got a six-foot aquarium or an appropriate size aquarium. Because remember, the lima shovenos does get massive, about 18 to 24 inches. Mostly, though, you'll see limas topping out at around 15 to 16 inches, and that's still a pretty, pretty big catfish. All right. So also, just like other monster fish and other large growing catfish, they're going to eat a lot of food and they're going to produce a lot of waste. So make sure that we have sufficient filtration. And I would recommend a canister filter. I know for many years I used hang on the back filters and I've been intimidated by canisters, but I like my Fluval FX4 and I will continue to stand by fluval filters for large growing fish like the Lima Shovenos catfish. So let's talk about the diet for the Lima Shovenos. Now, Lima Shovenos are carnivorous catfish, meaning they love their protein and they love their meat. And I have found that once Lima Shovenos are accustomed to their aquarium, 
They will not skip a meal. They are gluttons, just like many other South American catfish out there. So I recommend feeding them a pretty protein-rich diet. So what I feed my lima shovelnose is raw market shrimp, tilapia, earthworms, krill, massive art delight by Hakari, and he even eats shrimp pellets. You know those cheap uh, Wardley shrimp pellets from PetSmart and uh, Walmart, and usually I just use that for my uh, Niger cat and my Pleco and my flag tail, but my uh, Lima Shovenose loves that. So having said that, the Lima Shovenose catfish really is easy to feed. And that's what I admire about the Lima Shovenose is that they'll practically eat just about anything, including other small fish. So don't put these in with neon tetras or anything that stays small because guess what? Chomp, 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 chomp. It is lunch. So we're going to talk about tank mates pretty soon. But if you do want to feed your Lima Shovenose live food, stay away from feeder goldfish. Feeder goldfish have an enzyme in them that is very dangerous to other fish's immune system. It can cause buildup of fatty acids that will slowly kill your fish from the inside out. So don't ever feed feeder goldfish. Instead, use smaller tetras or guppies or live bearers, cichlids or perch. And those would be good feeder options. Of course, ghost shrimp, live ghost shrimp would be a good feeder. And also uh, live earthworms and crayfish would also be a good feeder. All right. So right now, I think it's the perfect time to go ahead and take our short intermission. And our intermission is being brought to us by Jeremy Stellhorn, the owner and founder of Little Egypt Aquarium Club. And Little Egypt Aquarium Club provides aquarium hobbyists with quality aquarium supplies such as driftwood, aquarium heaters, filter media, and even fish food like Rapashi. You can save 10% by using coupon code ALEX on your order. Let's see the short promo. And then when we come back, we'll talk about tank mates for the Lima Shovenos. And we will see photos and videos of the awesome Lima Shovenos. The Lima Shovenos chat continues right after this, ladies and gentlemen. The following message is brought to you by Jeremy Stellar and Little Egypt Aquarium Club. Get our awesome aquarium products and find out how to save 10% using coupon code ALEX. Hello, I am Brandy Cardinale the Beagle. I'm here to introduce Aqua Alex and he has a special message. He's going to tell you a place where to get high quality aquarium supplies and how to save 10%. Hey everybody, Aqua Alex Cardinale here. I've got a very special announcement for you. My buddy Jeremy Stellhorn has an online business called Little Egypt Aquarium Club that specializes in aquarium supplies such as driftwood and gecko cave and also tropical fish food. Little Egypt Aquarium Club provides aquarium hobbyists with the specialized tropical fish food and aquarium supplies. I personally recommend Rapashi Tropical Fish Food. Little Egypt Aquarium Club has plenty of Rapashi. You can find Rapashi Community Plus for all your community fish. And you can even find Rapashi Morning Wood for your Royal Plecos and your Panicum Plecos that need wood in their diet. LittleEgyptAquariumClub.com, your home for all sorts of aquarium supplies and tropical fish food. 
be like Aqua Alex and purchase the Pachi for your aquarium fish. I have predatory fish, and even they themselves love the Pachi. And get this, I, Aqua Alex Cardinelli, love saving money when I buy quality aquarium products. I'm here to help you save money. So when you purchase from littleegyptaquariumclub.com, I'm going to give you a discount code so that you can save 10%. All you need to do at checkout is use coupon code ALEX to save 10% on your order. That's right. To save 10% on your order, just use coupon code ALEX. LittleEgyptAquariumClub.com Every purchase helps talk with Alex, and it will help you as well. So go to LittleEgyptAquariumClub.com, place an order, and use the coupon code ALEX to get 10% off. Now, back to the Tropical Fish Chat. Welcome back to this week's Species Profile. And today I am talking about the Lima Chauvinos. Before our commercial break, I talked about some interesting facts about the Lima Chauvinos. I talked about the some, some care information you should know about them, including their scientific name, the full growing size, and their diet. So if you're just tuning in now, just wait until this video concludes, and then you can uh, rewind to the beginning of this video to learn more about the Lima Chauvinos catfish. All right, let's continue talking about this gorgeous fish. All right, so take mates for the Lima Chauvinos. Now, the Lima Chauvinos is a monster fish. Let's get that out because it needs to be said. It is a large growing catfish. Like I said throughout the show, the Lima Chauvinos can grow 14 to 20 inches in length. Now, just because it grows to be a big fish does not mean that it has the monster attitude. It's not going to chase relentlessly and harass other fish and kill them. It will do that only if it thinks that the other fish can fit in its mouth and is food. So I implore you not to keep these with small fish, like live bearers or smaller gouramis or tetras. All the community fish goes out the window when you want to keep a lima shovenos. When you want to keep a lima shovenos, you need to keep these with similar sized fish. So some good take mates for the Lima Chauvinos include Oscars. Oscar cichlids are a great tank mate. Um, chocolate cichlids are a great tank mate. Severums, Waru, Red Terror, the Mayans, or excuse me, Red Terror, the Fiestes. The true South American Red Terrors are a great tank mate. Green terrors, other large cichlids are great tank mates for the Lima Chauvinos. Silver dollars, Mentinus mylius and mylosoma. Paku in a large aquarium are great tank mates. Flagtail prochilotus are great tank mates. Wolfish are good tank mates. Stingrays are good tank mates. Arowanas, bikers. Statinoids, basically any fish that grows too big to be eaten is an ideal tank mate for the Lima Chauvinos. So anything too big to fit in its mouth is a great tank mate for the Lima Chauvinos. All right, now let's take a look at the natural beauty of the Lima Chauvinos. Here are some photos and videos of other fish keepers. Lima Chauvinos. So 
We'll start with some images of the Lima Shovenos, and then we'll get to the videos of the Lima Shovenos. So here we've got uh, some juvenile Lima Shovenos. These Lima Shovenos look to be about in the four to five inch range. Very cool catfish. And then here we have a sub-adult. And as you can see, as the lima shovel nose matures, it starts to get a spotting pattern, just like a tiger shovel nose, which is pretty cool. Again, here is another sub-adult with that spotting pattern that I was telling you about. Here is a pretty cool juvenile lima shovel nose. Also, some pretty cool tank mates with this lima shovel nose. I see some African OD pikes in there. I see a Megalodorus Irwini, another favorite catfish of mine. And I see a sun catfish in there. And also an angelfish in there. Pretty cool tank mates for the lima. Um, here is a pretty cool picture of a lima shoving nose getting those spots and that brown coloration, which is really cool. Here's another picture of some lima shoving noses. Very cool uh, juvenile lima shoving nose. Here are a group of Lima Shovenos for sale at a local fish store. Very cool catfish. And lastly, an adult Lima Shovenos. Um, this must be from an aquarium because I see a true parrot cichlid in there. And it looks like it's a uh, Amazon display uh, aquarium somewhere in some aquarium. Now let's get to the videos of the beautiful Lima Shovenos catfish show the first video i have for you is only nine seconds but it shows a uh teenage lima shovel nose so as you can see in that video that lima shovel nose is using that driftwood as like a platform to hide in so it's very important to provide lima shovenoses with places to hide. Here are some lima shovenos juveniles eating blood worms. A really fun video. So really cool to see juvenile lima shovenos eating. And here is a sub-adult lima shovenos. Very cool catfish. And this video opened up the show, but it's a aquarium in, I believe, Oregon or Carolina that has a display, a South American display that has lima shovenos in it. Let's check it out. So as you can see, the Lima Shovenos looks amazing in a shoal or a school. So yes, you can keep them in a school. All right, I think I've talked about everything there is to know about the Lima Shovenos. It's time for my final remarks on the Lima Shovenos catfish. If you're looking for a medium to large growing unique oddball catfish, the Lima Shovenos catfish is for you. So definitely consider getting one. 
Yes, you can keep two, three, or four of these guys together. They are a schooling cat. Just make sure you have a large aquarium to keep the Lima Chauvinose catfish in. They're very affordable, and they're really cool. They're a really awesome wet pet. So if you're looking for a unique species, consider the Lima Chauvinose catfish. And the last thing I could say about the Lima Chauvinos is make sure you have driftwood or floating plants or somewhere for this catfish to hide in so that it will feel secure and thrive in your home aquarium. All right, so should you have any questions on the Lima Chauvinos, please post them in the comments and I will gladly answer your questions on the Lima Chauvinos catfish. It has been an honor and a pleasure to talk about the Lima Chauvinos catfish here on Aqua Alex Live. I greatly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you learned a lot about the Lima Chauvinos. Next week, we're going to talk about another South American catfish. Next week, I'll talk about the four-line Pictus catfish, Pimadella blotchi. So join me next week to learn about my longest kept catfish to date. I've had my four-line Pictus since 2019. So really cool cat. I cannot wait to educate you on the four-line Pictus next week here on our next species profile. And the month of June is going to see two episodes of Fish Keepers Q&A to make up for the one we didn't do in May. So get your Fish Keepers questions ready, your fish keeping questions ready, and I will answer them. I will let you know the date of the first Q&A on the next episode of Aqua Alex Live. So Fish Keepers, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli, for more fun episodes of Aqua Alex Live. Happy fish keeping, everybody. Tank on. Enjoy the Lima Chauvinos. And if you don't have one, consider getting one. Happy fish keeping and have a great day, everybody. Hey everyone, legendary Alex Cardinelli here, and guess what? Together, you, my audience, and I are celebrating history once more this year. Can you guys believe that on June 12th, I will be celebrating my 700th video? Yes, that's right. June 12th, I will be hosting my 700th video. I remember my 500th and my 600th video like it was yesterday. You, the audience, make me put out these awesome videos and I lose count. I prefer quality over quantity, but in this case, quantity is quality. I'm enjoying hosting these videos for you. So I, legendary Alex Cardinelli, am extremely proud to invite you to be a part of the 700th video celebration. It is going down live Sunday, June 12, 2022 at 10 p.m. Eastern. 7 p.m. Pacific, right here on my YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli. I cannot wait to host 
the seventh hundredth video. It is going to be a blast. Chef Alex Cardinelli is going to be in the house. And he's going to be cooking and baking. Watch Chef Alex make a delicious homemade French onion soup. And for dessert, Chef Alex will teach you how to make cream bouillie. A really delicious pudding like dessert. So, Chef Alex goes French for the 700th video as he'll show you how to make a delicious French onion soup and cream bouillie. Delicious. You guys all know that I work at the Palm Beach Zoo. It's something special that I'm doing to celebrate 700 videos. I am going to enter the lower seat law at Palm Beach Zoo and hand feed lower seat on video for my 700th video. That is going to be fantastic and definitely legendary. Now, of course, you can't have a party without aquariums and tropical fish. And you can't talk about aquariums and tropical fish without the man man himself, Aqua Alex. Aqua Alex will give you a tour of one of his favorite local fish stores. Plus, will Aqua Alex get new fish? And there may also be aquarium topics talked about by Aqua Alex Cardinelli. Also, we live the best moments on this YouTube channel. I will play seven of my best moments from my YouTube channel over the last 699 videos. There will also be other surprises. Will there be any legendary appearances? We'll tell find out. And who will be special guests if there are any special guests? Will there be a chef? Will there be a fiction chef? We will have to find out. So mark your calendars, ladies and gentlemen, and all my loyal subscribers. The legendary Alex Cardinelli YouTube channel celebrates 700 videos live. Sunday, June 12th, 2022, at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Come celebrate history, have some fun, and watch a fun celebration Sunday, June 12th, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Thank you, everybody, for making this a possibility and I look forward to my next party. I'll see you on the 700th video celebration party, June 12th, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, right here on my YouTube channel.